Today we're going to talk about my favorite cord for tying in bagpipes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis, Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons, but more on that later. Now, I have a whole series on tying in pipe bags, and there'll be a link to that series up here. But uh, today, I specifically wanted to talk about the cord I am now using to attach the stocks to a hide bag. And that is Catahoula number 18 tarred braided nylon twine. Now this is the same kind of cord that is supplied with the Lee and Sons bag. I actually asked Jack Lee what kind of tying cord were they supplying because when I've tied in the Lee and Sons bags, I've really enjoyed the cord they used. And again, it was the Catahoula tarred braided twine number 18. And this was uh, the quarter pound, I guess, something like that. Uh, there'll be a link below to this specific product on Amazon so you can pick that up and you'll get enough of it to last you, well, a lot of tie-ins. Now this stuff has a 165 pound brake limit. I have yet to snap any of this stuff while tying in a bag. You can see here, that is not this. This is why this is not, well, this was tied in by somebody else and all of these are doing well, but it started coming undone at the Chanter stock. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to show you guys this product right here and put it to the test. I have a metal pipe here that I've actually drilled a hole in and wound some of this tarred braided twine around it. And that's gonna get us started. We're gonna go ahead and tie in the chanter stock on this Ganaway extended medium bag and a set of McCallum AB4 deluxe pipes. And thank you to Mr. Robert Rial for providing um, the pipes for me. And uh, there'll be more on this set. In fact, when the video is ready, you'll see it up here. I'm gonna be comparing these to a set of McCallum made McCrays here shortly. But first, let's get this tied in and airtight. So step number one, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a bowline knot. There'll be a diagram on how to tie a bowline knot on screen. All right, so I got the bowline knot right here, and I'm also going to take a length of this tarred braided twine, and we're going to tie another little loop with a bowline knot. So we have a loop right here tied with a bowline knot, and we have a bowline knot at the end of the tying cord wrapped around this rod. You could use a dowel, you could use kind of whatever you want. I see a lot of people use hammers. Again, I don't recommend a hammer. You don't need to be pulling something maybe towards your face with a hammer end on it. We're gonna start by feeding the tarred twine through the loop we just made. So we have kind of a self-tightening deal there. So again, you have the, the loop we made and then you run the string back through it. So when you pull on it, it will actually kind of self-tighten. So we have the bowline knot sitting in the groove. So this is where the groove and the stock and the bag all come together. I'm gonna to now stick this loop underneath right at the beginning because we're going to wrap this around several times pull it very taut, and when we're all done, the first step of finishing this off, we're gonna actually pull the excess through and under to help hold it in place, and then finish it off with a couple of half hitches. So we got that under, wrap it a few times, and now I'm gonna grab this, and I'm just gonna give it a good old-fashioned pull. And I'm pulling across, you see, I'm not pulling into my face. But what's great about this Catahoula twine is it seems to with the the tarred nature of it it kind of sticks to itself i can feel it getting a little tighter right there it's not going to take too much more all right so we've got it wrapped around several times i've pulled it quite taut um i'm holding on to the stock and the bag and then the rod itself pulling across some people actually need to stand on this and pull it up toward themselves. I guess it depends how strong you are. If you are going to stand on this rod, dowel, whatever you have and pull up, try to pull away from your face, not in. You don't want this possibly breaking. Now, I have not had the Catahoula tarred twine break on me yet, but if it does, I don't want you having a pipe bag going into your face or anything like that. That would that'd be bad. So we're going to call that nice and tight. And you can see this is not wanting to come undone. It's not completely sticky, but it's not slipping. The, the tying we did is not slipping. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, I don't know, a good 18 extra inches or so. I want plenty to work with here. So we're going to stick this loop boom right here through the loop 
that we ran under everything. And that'll be step one to securing the knot. There we go. Pull that loop through. <clears throat> okay, so we got the loop pulled through. <clears throat> now that might well be enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie some half inches, which are basically just like, we're gonna make a loop around and then just kind of tuck the twine back under itself once here, and then again, pull it nice and taut. And then I actually am gonna do that one more time. So again, I'm wrapping it around, kind of running the twine back through itself, like a little overhand knot, if you will. That's a half hitch. We're gonna pull that tight again. And once we're sure this is all airtight and that we don't have to undo this knot, you can put a nice little dollop of super glue over the end knot where it all comes together. Now leave it for a little bit to kind of set up. The super glue on this doesn't seem to instantly dry like in so many other applications. So keep that in mind, but that'll keep the knot from ever wanting to slip again after that. And you can see while we might've started with a good 18 extra inches, we only have, you know, a five inches now. So give yourself enough extra twine to um, run it through and make a couple of knots when you're done to just make sure that everything is nice and secure. They give you plenty in this roll, so you can be um, generous with how much you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and stick in my moose valve, review for moose valves up there. So you can check that out. That's my non-return valve that actually lives inside the stock. We can go ahead and get this table out of the way. Blow pipe in. Go ahead and cork this thing up and we will test it for air tightness. Zipper is all the way zipped. And there we go, completely airtight. This tie-in cord works great. There's lots of other cords out there. Clearly, whoever tied this in did a great job with uh, this white string here. But for my money right now, I'm going with the Catahoula Tarred Braided Nylon Twine, number 18. Again, link to uh, where you can purchase this on Amazon in the description below. So um, yeah. Get some tie-in cord, get some nice heavy duty stuff. You're not gonna have to worry about coming undone or possibly breaking on you. I have not had this break on me yet. I've probably tied in five, six sets now with this cord um, without any problems. Still tight guys, I love it. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way and a special shout out to Miss Carrie Tresek, my number one supporter. You'll see names now scrolling up. These are names of fine folk contributing monthly to the channel. I'd love to add your name to this list. You often get perks like early access to videos and other things, so check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see down here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise with things like hats and hoodies and t-shirts. So go ahead, check that out, and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. All right, everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.